This is Overdrive Editor Max Heine. I'm here with Lisa Kelly. Many of you remember her as one of the bigger stars on some of the 11 seasons of the History Channel's Ice Road Truckers and one of the few female truckers on the cast. That final season aired in 2017. And so, Lisa, why don't you tell us what's happened with you since then? Just working, really. Not a lot. And so that work can be mainly driving? Uh, yep. Yep. Just driving north and have a neck for blowing trucks up at the moment, but that's all right. Yeah, and are you driving for Carlisle? No, I haven't been with them for a while now. I'm with a different company now. Oh, okay, and uh, so you're you're based in Alaska still, is that right? Yep, yep, right down the road from here, so that worked out good, but we drive Kenai and Fairfax so. And you're doing that year-round, so you still get the, uh, the wintertime driving on the haul road? Yep, yep. It's still winter time here. The snow has been gone this time of year every other year, except for this year. It was 30 something below last night uh-huh. on the drive down. Oh my gosh. Hard to okay. imagine. I happened to be uh, talking with George Spears this week. Who, uh, oh, yeah. Do you remember him? And uh, for other viewers, he was uh, one of the regulars for some seasons on. Ice road truckers, but he was saying that the uh, he heard some of the haul roads been paved actually since we did it, which was 2006 when I wrote with George. But I think they're constantly trying to make improvements up there because it used to be really bad, and it's just it's getting better. But the pavement is iffy whether it's actually better or not because the ground that like, gets frost heaves and it gets really bumpy. Right. <laughs> Fresh pavement's great. But as soon as it starts, like, getting springtime and melting yeah. and freezing, then it just turns into this crazy bump yeah. and stuff. And- so it's still mostly the chip seal, right? It's not really... Uh, no, open. this was actual pavement. Oh, there. really? And still the Chip seal, pavement, gravel, there's a whole combination. Sometimes you can't even tell which one you're on because it's so half and half. But at yeah. least the gravel, you can, like, plow it flat. Pavement, you can't right. do that. Yeah. What kind of truck are you driving? A Freightliner right now. Or whatever they have available, really. Uh-huh. Like I said, I'm good at blowing them up, so. <laughs> uh, <something laughs> Two freightliners that... down, see what they'll give me next. <laughs> yeah, so it's usually a century class or a other model? Uh, Coronado. Coronado, yeah, okay. It's nice. yeah. Uh, are, you, are you hoping to stay in Alaska a long time? Um, a lot of winters are going to keep running into April. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> We, there's like so much snow right now. We just had a record a couple of days ago for this time of year. We had 15 inches in Fairbanks, um, a, like a week ago. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And like we're shoveling roofs off because they're caving in. Ooh. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it suits you if you stayed up there. I mean, this long, it's uh, I guess you're getting to be something of a native there. <laughs> Are you still in touch with uh, with any of the cast members from uh, Ice Road Truckers? Um, I talk to Todd sometimes, and I run into Jack and Phil on the road. Okay, so they're still driving. Yeah. Yep. I guess a lot of the uh, cast members have uh, gone on to other halls or other lines of work. Uh, some people have. I think Todd's doing the same thing he was doing. Uh, not on the show, but he's always been a logger. And then Jack and Phil are still doing, uh, still at Carlisle. And let's see, Ice Road Truckers is still, it's still showing its reruns, right? On, uh, I guess, History Channel or other channels. I did hear they were showing reruns, so that's really good. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. Do they, uh, you get any kind of fan mail or anything, or is that kind of leveled off? Oh, well, once in a while, I know Carlisle used to get a lot of it. Yeah. But once in a while, like, my mailman knows me, so, like, it'll be addressed to, like, Lisa Kelly, Ice Road Trucker, Wasilla, and I'll get the mail. It's crazy. I'm like, wow. <laughs> oh, that's good. What what, uh, what people have to say when they when they do reach you with the mail? I mean, typical um, comments. Most are really positive, just saying that uh, they like watching me on the show and they like the show and all that stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's encouraging. That was a... Quite a successful show to have that many seasons. Now, you were in how many of the seasons did you appear on? Do you remember? Mm, from season three to five and seven to 11. Did, what, did we have 11? There was 11 total. Okay. So 11 minus three. Are you doing any kind of uh, media work since then, or do you hope to do some more? 
Um, it's kind of, I'm kind of just, it's whatever. Um, it's obviously dying down because it's been three years since we've shot the show and I'm definitely open to it, but I'm not making like an active effort just because I've been busy working and just playing with horses and I don't know, just kind of excited to get back to real life. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. So that's right. Yeah. You, you do like horses, I recall, and, uh, do any other kind of stuff? Any of the was it motocross or motorcycle racing? Yeah, got the got the bike out and I put ice studs in it to go, but I have a seal leaking, so we ordered that. Finally got that in, replaced that, and found out it's the one on the other side and the like it's cracked and there's like some reason it's running hotter on one side than the other. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> there's more to do <laughs> before I can actually go ride. I can imagine. Well, it's uh, machines will break down. Yes, they do. Uh, don't worry. Other than possible TV or media work, any other kind of career plans or dreams you've got for yourself? Not yet. Um, kind of in a change in my life right now. So I'm just kind of like reconsidering everything and like trying to decide which direction my life is going to go from here. Because I don't know if there's going to be any more shows or not or just trying to simplify life a little bit. It, I feel like we spend the whole first half of our lives collecting things. And then we spend the second half trying to get rid of it all. Again. <laughs> True enough. So a word to the wise: don't collect stuff. Cause it'll rule you to all you're doing is take care of stuff and you're not actually having fun with it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Quite true. Yeah. I'm trying mean. the whole minimalism thing. Holy crap, I have a lot of junk in this house, and I feel like I have it, like, all organized, and I still can't find anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. That was the main things we wanted to cover. Any other uh, things that come to mind about uh, the show or trucking in general? No, gosh, the show's been on hiatus for a while, and yeah. I, can't, I wish it would come back, and I know there's been talk of it, but I feel like this whole COVID thing kind of put a stop on everything, which sucks. Um, so I don't know, just, yeah, that's kind of the whole change thing going on. It's just like, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It was as far as know. trucking goes, is freight stayed pretty constant in uh, Alaska? Uh, most companies know it has not. It's slowed way, 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 way down. And my boss has been awesome about keeping us busy. So he's like, we're busy. He's like, but I work at it to keep you guys busy. So I appreciate his efforts on that yeah. as we're one of the few companies that are just swamped with work. Uh, and, and as far as a slowdown, that's because of what that's oil and gas slowdown oh, yep. related. Yeah. I mean, if you're driving a Prudhoe yep. Bay, that was, that's, that's yeah. my livelihood. And so it's sad to see that slow down like that because like the whole next year, sure. And that's just like a huge income for a majority of us. And, and I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> Right. Well, as long as you got uh, some good trucking credentials, there's things to do. It may not be on the haul road, but uh, certainly be uh, some demand elsewhere. Well, uh, leaving because of having all the horses and stuff. So that's true. Know. Yeah. But, uh, OK, well, uh, any other words uh, you'd like to pass on to your fans? Life's been pretty boring lately, so I don't have a whole lot of new news. I'm really glad they're watching the reruns and keeping me in mind. And hopefully I'll be able to keep up a little bit more on Facebook and keep people updated. And I just haven't posted much because not much has happened. Right. <laughs> Do you have a, a blog you're actively posting to? Um, I have a Facebook page, a fan Facebook one with a check mark. And uh, I post on there once in a while when I actually do something besides sleep, get up, eat, go to work, go home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good catching up with you. And, uh, Best wishes on your hauling and other plans as they develop. 